Number eight, Pesada Sam Lord Tuyinga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Social Development. What, what role will the Work and Income Board have in the government's recently announced welfare reforms? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Work and Income Board will provide oversight of the design, implementation, and ongoing delivery of the government's investment approach to welfare. We know their oversight and expertise, combined with the right interventions, will see fewer people on welfare for long periods. Supplementary to the Minister, what will be different under the investment approach? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, currently we do very little to identify those most at risk of long-term welfare dependency, let alone provide this group the right support and interventions to get off welfare and into work. Under the investment approach, the Board will help identify target groups of beneficiaries at risk of long-term dependency and how best to invest in getting them into work. Further question to the Minister. How will these changes be evaluated and monitored? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, the Work and Income Board will be responsible for monitoring and evaluation of the investment approach. Work and Income will trial a number of services and interventions for individual groups. As the evaluations are completed, it will build on a knowledge base for the Board to draw on. So, yet we'll be trialling it, evaluating it. That that is successful, we will go on and grow. That that's not, we will move on to another trial to see how it works. Best. Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Is the real agenda of this board to establish the forward liability of the welfare system, which we already know, to oversee the implementation of her reforms, which we already have a government department for, or is it to implement the welfare working group recommendation that the role of work and income be transferred to the private sector? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. As I've quite um, rightly pointed out, the role of the board will be to assist the department and the minister in how we actually implement the investment approach. So we're currently working with actuaries on what that long-term liability is, how that's broken up into groups and actually to the point where it gets to individuals, and that's the role of the board. Question, question number nine, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing. Does he still stand by all his statements on housing? 